Uh, what's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Shine and today we're going over seven quick tips for blowing up using cover songs. And before I get started, I want to remind people for those who are doubting, yes, you can blow up and become big off of cover songs and have a legitimate career. I've watched people from Nikki Heaton get signed to Tori Kelly, Dondria, Chloe and Halle. I'm talking about I was watching these people at the beginning. As a matter of fact, I was watching Justin Bieber on YouTube before he blew up back when everybody was saying boy you so talented you deserve the world I can't wait till you blow up Sing my song till I'm your man you're my girl I'm gonna tell it to the whole wide world and now everybody's like dude you suck but that's besides the point number one choose your quality yes you can record a cover and then you can do an mp3 playing and kind of lip sync or you can do a live unplugged you can do something in the studio you can do just a raw straightforward in front of the camera singing and that personally is my favorite because it has that raw feeling and connection that allows people to feel like you're not a star yet you're just somebody in their room that i can root for and i'm catching you before the world knows about you that's the biggest advantage of that one right there number two consistency there's no fancy way to say it to get attention over time to build a fan base you just have to stay consistent you might not get views initially but eventually you're building up a catalog where people start to discover you and next thing you know they say oh my gosh this person is amazing so when you're doing covers don't think about necessarily the first day and the first week at the end of the day you should plan to at least dedicate eight months so you can give it that time to blow up and really start to feed and create its own loop of audience generation and speaking of audience generation of course you want to engage with the people who are engaging with you all the people who are appreciating you thank them if they have requests Go with the request, it's helpful to help you build a relationship with your fan base. And quick side note, because I didn't put this on the list, whether you're on YouTube or Instagram, YouTube, you should be doing full songs probably, or maybe shortened two minute versions. And then on Instagram, 15 to 30 second clips would work better than doing a full minute. Number four, do songs that are hot while they're hot. The reason being for this is when there's a hot song, people are already searching for that song and it makes you more easy to find. If I'm looking for Bad and Bougie and next thing you know I see Girl Kills Bad and Bougie cover on the side of my screen, I just might click on it. Catching popular songs is something that a lot of people use, so it's not necessarily like you're not going to have competition in it. So the faster you can do that and turn around a new hot song, the better. Five. Sing songs that people don't expect you to sing. Now that might vary for different people. If you think about people like Nikki Heaton, you have this white girl who is doing a lot of trap or hard grimy music covers of songs like The Weeknd's or Nah, Chief Keith Love Sosa. Ain't nobody trying to save you. Baby, get that paper. Probably got a lot of other bitches owe you favors. Heard you got a man, ho, hold me understand. It might be interesting for a little kid to be singing these grown and vulgar songs that get a lot of attention. I don't necessarily recommend it, but it could also be interesting for a grown woman or a teenager or a grown man or whatever to be doing these new renditions of nursery rhymes. Or if you were doing these slow, sexy renditions of television show theme songs, kind of like how Jamie Foxx did Brady Bunch, and he made that song amazing. Here's the story of a lovely lady who was bringing up three very lovely girls All of them had hair of gold Like their mother, the youngest one in curls Take a, a, a song off a of TV and make it sound good enough to make love to Even if the song was Here's a story Of a lovely Who was bringing up three very lovely girls? All of them had hair of gold, like the mother, the youngest one in curls. Yeah. 
Number six, take fast songs and slow them down or take slow songs and speed them up or put more beat and punch to them. When you change up the arrangement, it helps you stick out more and it helps people to disassociate it with, oh, this person's just singing the song nice and it sounds good, so they have a nice voice. It helps them get captured in your talent as a whole. And oftentimes it's just nice for people's ears. That's why a lot of times when people take the fast version of a song and slow it down and do acoustic, people always say, this version sounds so much better. It's a thing, go look at people's covers and you'll always see that somewhere. And number seven, get creative. This could be the most important of all of them, especially if you're failing to really start getting some traction. You might have to do something really creative, create some kind of series possibly, or get somebody involved. I don't know if you get another person involved and they're beatboxing with you or you're just singing songs to your dad or with your dad there and watching his reaction or maybe you're going to every Starbucks in the city and singing outside each Starbucks and create a series out of that. Somebody does that, I swear, eventually, if they're not like vulgar songs or kind of corporate friendly type songs, they'll probably get signed or Starbucks will probably do some kind of sponsorship for them because it'll be getting attention for Starbucks. All in all, you just have to look for different ways to entertain people in addition to your music. There's so many ways to get creative. You guys can figure that out for themselves. I remember this one guy who can sing. He's kind of like a comedian too. He would do these singing reactions to stuff. If I could find him, I'll put him in. If not, eh, whatever. But anyway, that's it. Hope that was helpful. Y'all know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.